Usually this time of year it's super cold every single day, but we do get the occasional warm days like today where it's really nice. And the STI has been super filthy for like two weeks now, so I'm going to take advantage of the warm weather today and give it a nice wash. I also want to do as many coats of the MPT Classic as I can before it gets too cold. All this is is a protectant for your paint, but my favorite thing about this stuff is that it literally leaves your car feeling like silk afterwards. So we're gonna go wash the STI and then we'll come back and do this stuff. I always get super excited when I do car washes. I don't know about you guys, but cars are just completely different from when they're clean to when they're dirty. So let's go get all this dust off the car. to mention in the last video when it comes to maintenance and drivability on the STI is we have to do an axle swap on this car. You guys remember I went from a 5x100 to a 5x114 bolt pattern and we never switched out the axles which is why my ABS light has been on this entire time. So that's something else that we need to do this winter. We need to switch from 04 STI axles to 05 STI axles which means we have to pull the snubs out of the transmission and completely convert that to fit an 05 STI axle. All right, let's get her all cleaned up. Subi is looking good. Let's go home and really make her shine now. I made it back home. Let's go ahead and apply the MPT. I think I'm gonna start with the hood just because it's the easiest and it's my favorite part after it's done. So I just apply a little bit of compound on the pad and then you just kind of want to work it into one small area. So I'll let that dry for like 30 seconds and you know it's pretty much dry when it turns a little bit hazy. You can already start to see that and then you just want to wipe it off with microfiber. And once you remove it all, this is my favorite part. It feels amazing guys. It's literally silk. I'm not even kidding. We're going to go ahead and do that to the entire car. It's going to take me about an hour to an hour and a half but it's so worth it. The car is going to look and feel amazing. And the entire driver's side of the car is done and it just looks so good. I'm not really worried about the front bumper. As most of you guys know, it's already completely destroyed and this stuff is not going to make it look any better. So I'm just going to skip out on the front bumper, but the rest of the car is looking really, really good. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the passenger side and then the trunk and the wing. So satisfying getting the car all cleaned up but now that we're done with that i asked you guys on instagram to ask us questions that you want answered we're going to end today's video with a q a we're going to drive over to a good spot and answer some questions that you guys had All right guys, let's do this Q&A. First off, thank you to everyone who asked us a question. There is a whole lot of them and I won't be able to get to all of them today, but I'm gonna try and get through the majority of them. And I also wanna answer some of the questions that we most commonly get asked, that way that gets answered. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started on the questions. Good horsepower to push on a Subaru that's still reliable. Uh, I would say around 350 to the wheels. Once you start getting into the 400 range, that's when you start running into issues, but it also depends how you maintain the car. What's something that you should be aware of when buying a used STI? We actually have a video on the channel 
um, what to look for when buying a used car. For those of you who have asked us that, that's one of the questions that we get the most. There is a video on our channel that you can look up and we kind of go over everything that you should look for when buying a used car. Who has the fastest Subi out of all you guys? I would say Camacho. I think Camacho's is the fastest. We haven't all ran them together, but just by driving his, I think his is probably the fastest. What's better, a short ram intake or a cold air intake? Uh, performance wise, I'm not really too sure. I would say the cold air intake would perform better because it's not sitting in the engine bay. Also, you have to take into consideration where you live. For us, a cold air intake wouldn't be ideal because we get a lot of rain and snow and you wouldn't want water getting pushed into there. When will you guys drive up to Portland? We actually got invited to Stance Wars next year in the summertime, so we might just head up to Washington and stop by in Oregon. I think that'd be pretty cool just because we've never been up north. We've always just gone to SoCal. Who had the first Subi in the group? I think it would be either myself or Ongo. I don't know which one of us got it first, but we both started out with Imprezas and then moved up to Ongo moved up to an STI, I moved up to a bug eye. What are your power goals for the STI? Right now at the moment, I don't have enough knowledge on the engine side of things. That's really why I haven't done much of it. And that's also why I couldn't give you a specific number, but I would like to push a lot more power in the future. Nothing too crazy, but definitely a little bit more. Are you guys making third shift merch? Well, we got this windbreaker right here that all of us are rocking that you guys have seen, but this is one of those questions that we get asked all the time. It's in our DMs every single day. It's tough, you need money to start a business and that's something that we don't have right now, but hopefully next year we can push towards that. We wanted to do it this year, but it didn't work out. So hopefully this upcoming year we can kind of get more knowledge into the business side of things and then hopefully start our own brand. Is anyone in the group planning to build anything other than a Subaru? Eventually, yes. Like, there's cars out there that we would like to own, but like I said, money is always an issue. I think the closest one to building something other than a Subaru right now would be Ongo. He's looking into an S2K and another car, but I'm not sure how soon that would come, but I think he's the closest right now. Will Marco ever learn manual? I don't know, guys, you tell me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Marco actually knows how to drive stick, kinda. Um, but he just drives an automatic. Tell Chino and Camacho to post more. I know guys, that's what I keep telling them. Now you guys gotta go tell them. I'm gonna put their Instagrams right here. Go tell Chino and Camacho to post more on their Instagrams. Why is Onguito afraid of real tires? <laughs> Christian? <laughs> Favorite or inspirational YouTubers? There's a bunch of them. I watch Eliminate a lot. I watch Dustin, TJ. Um, I just started getting into the Strad man. That guy's videos are cool. When can I visit you guys? Eddie, dude, we've been waiting to see your car in person. I thought I was gonna see you at Subi Fest, but then I heard about your tires. Soon, bro, we're gonna head down to the bay to see you. Does anyone plan on changing the color of their car, either paint or wrap? Uh, mine got painted, Diego's got painted. I could see Chino, even though his is newer, I could see him doing a wrap. Camacho, I'm not sure. Marco, I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe Ongo or Luis. I could see Luis has been talking about wrapping his car for a while. Ongo was thinking about it, but maybe not till next summer. We'll see. Ever plan on going E85? Yes, I would love to, but the closest pump to us would be like two hours away. They, there used to be one that was like 30 minutes away, but that one is gone now. So I don't think E85 anytime soon. Would you ever get a WRX? The only WRX I would ever get again would be a Bug Eye. I just couldn't go back to a five speed and I'm sure any person who has drove a six speed would tell you the same thing. What's your plan after taking off your fender flares? Question for the blue 04 STI. I can't tell you guys just yet, but there is something in the works for the upcoming year. How often do you guys record new videos? This just depends on what we have for content. Right now it's been really tough to record videos with it getting darker sooner now and it's getting colder. Right now I think is the toughest time of the year to post videos, but I try and get one out at least every single week. Any plans for another build or are you sticking to the STI for now? Yeah, like I said, um, we don't have the money right now for other builds. The STI is fine just now. This thing is long, long away from being done and I think I have my hands full with this one right now. What kind of build is Camacho aiming for? Um, not completely sure on what type of build, but I know he's not a stance guy, so I don't know if that kind of answers your question. What tips would you give a dude trying to get his dream Subi and what to mod first? We get this question all the time, guys, and the one answer that I always give them is if you have something in your mind, you're gonna get it done regardless of what others say. If you tell yourself that you can do it, then you're gonna do it, and eventually it'll come. With hard work and patience, the right car will come along. 
As far as first mods for that car, I would say coilovers and wheels. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's Q&A. Thank you to every single one of you that asked the question and hopefully we answered it. Hopefully we got to the most common ones that we get asked. With this Q&A, I also wanted to ask you guys if you would like to see videos on every single member of Third Shift. So for instance, who is Danny from Third Shift or who is Camacho from Third Shift and do a full video on one specific person from Third Shift and get through everyone. That way you guys get to know every single one of us. If you would like to see that, make sure you comment down below. I always thought each individual video like that would be pretty cool. That way you guys get to really know who Third Shift is. Like I said, leave a comment down below if you'd like to see that. I'm gonna get out of here guys, it's getting cold. I'll see you in the next one, peace out.